Hi, welcome to week three, day one of the National Hunt, today's 12 races. But let's just have a quick look at the leaderboard from last week on the National Hunt. Uh, we've got Joshua Sutherland at the top, last year's National Hunt champion trainer. He's on 13 wins and an amazing 78% strike rate in the money out of his 56 starts. Just behind him is Paul Rhodes on 9 wins and then we've got Leon on 8 and they're followed through by Graham on 7, Darren Thompson on 6, John Morgan on 5, Jim Murray on 5, Thunderspark also on 5 but Thunderspark obviously started last week so uh, his 5 for his first week is pretty good and then we've got Moylitz uh, in ninth position on 4 along with David Robertson. So uh, what have we got on this week? Well, we've got four races from Cheltenham to start. We're going to be called home by Doug Warren. And then he's also going to shoot over to Aintree and call home another couple where the old Roan Chase is uh, the big race there. And you've got back-to-back uh, -to -back Hunter Chase winner there. A massive step up in class for uh, James Follis's Pipe and Lied. So good luck, one, good luck with that one, James. Just moving on, then we go over to Chepstow where I'll be calling them home. I've got a couple of reasonable races there. The Persian War duped. G2 Novice Hurdle, where a Braxis for Leon Van Rensburg and Meandre for Paul Rhodes, uh, unbeaten horses go up against each other. And that will be followed by the Silver Trophy, which is a two and a half mile handicap hurdle, where a fairly mixed bunch go there. But I have noticed that champion trainer, Joshua Sutherland, is very bullish about his horse zombie in that race, so uh, maybe one to look out for. And then we'll have a couple of races from Limerick, which are going to be called home by Martin Leader. Um, his big race there will be the PWC Group 3 Chase, where the sprinters of the National Hunt will go over two, two miles and a furlong. Uh, good luck to everybody there. So uh, join us for the races.